In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can find the slope between two points without drawing the graph. To do this, we're going to come up with a slope equation. Slope, we usually represent with the letter m. I know slope does not start with m. I'm told originally slope was called the modular slope. We drop the word module, but we keep the m for slope. So m is slope. And we already talked about slope is the rise over the run. And if we think about that, the rise moving up and down is the y values. That's how much we change in the y direction. I'm going to say change in y over the run horizontally. The horizontal axis is the x-axis. That tells us how much we change in the x direction. Which means, if we want to calculate the change in something, we need to subtract the two values. If the river was three feet high and now it's one foot high, we subtract and find it's changed two feet. So to find the change in the y, we will take the second y and subtract the first y, y2 minus y1. And we put that over the change in x, which means we take the second x and we subtract the first x. So this equation, I'll write m over here again, is a very important one to us, and it's one you're going to want to commit to memory as quickly as possible. It's going to be a very useful formula for us. To calculate the slope, we subtract the two y's and then subtract the two x's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let's look at an example where we can use this very important formula. In this first example, we want the slope between 7, 2 and 11, 4. Remember, points are always x, y pairs, x, y pairs. And we could pick this one over here, the 7, 2, to be the first point and the 11, 4 to be the second point. That's a 2 doesn't look like a 2, but it's a 2. There we go. So when we do our formula that the slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we just plug the values in from our points. y2 is the y from the second point, the 4, minus y1, the y from the first point, the 2. Over x2, the x from the second point is 11, minus x1, the x from the first point is 7. Well, 4 minus 2 is 2, and 11 minus 7 is 4, and 2 fourths reduces to our slope of 1 half. Let's try a second example. In this second example, we're asked to find the slope between negative 2, negative 5 and negative 17, 4. Again, they come in x, y pairs. We've got our first point and our second point. And slope is equal to this important formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Plugging it in, y2, the y from the second point is 4 minus y1, the y from the first point is negative 5. Don't lose that negative. Remember, we're subtracting negative 5. Over x2 is negative 17, minus the x1 is the negative 2. Well, subtracting a negative is like adding a positive, so 4 plus 5 is 9. Over negative 17 plus 2 is 15 negative 15, don't lose that negative, and then we reduce the fraction by dividing by 3, giving us 3 over negative 5, or negative 3 fifths is the slope between these two lines. This is one of the most important formulas of the unit. Make sure you take the time to memorize it and know how to use it. The slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1.